where to put the nation's yeah. capital. NASA employees only. NASA employees only. <laughs> Space people. <laughs> Don't forget your astronaut suit. This apparently is the NASA headquarters. I was just checking on Snapchat. They have their own geo filter. That's awesome. Look, right there. See? Can you see us? It's us. Why hello everybody, it's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. We are on a weekend adventure in Washington, D.C. We're staying at the Residence Inn. It's really nice because it's within walking distance to the mall. So we're gonna head out and do some exploring. The sun has even favored us. Of course, I don't think the cherry blossoms will quite be out, but we're gonna have a look. We're at the starting line. Let's head out. So we're here, we're going, I'm not sure actually, I think there. Here we are on the mall. Look at all these green, oh my gosh. This is the first green I've seen in ages. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all of the food trucks out for lunch. Towers of the Smithsonian. Look at the sculpture garden. Exotic sculptures. I just realized that that tree is not a real tree. See, that one? It's totally silver. Wow, it looks very convincing though. Unless they just silver plated a tree. You gonna talk about being an See, intern? No, I'm just showing. <laughs> yes, Athos is my tripod. I'm gonna tell you how it is. I wanted to show you. <laughs> These are called stylo lights. <laughs> They're formed when there's like a less stable layer that gets compacted between two harder layers. So all the impurities get concentrated in this zigzaggy line. Exactly. I've, I've wanted to show them my dress. Okay, you? It's a stylish show line. It's a stylish show line. <laughs> That's what your dress is. Shazam. Dress, Kate Spade. Uh, jacket is from New York Company. No, not New York Company. What's the other one I'm thinking of? Company in New York. Athos, no. It's Black House White Market. Yes, it is. You look at you got it. And then this, it's actually White House found, Black Market. Isn't it cute? <laughs> <laughs> I just found it at Nordstrom Mac. I'm so excited, and also sunglasses, noise to Mac. I'm so excited that um, the sun came out because I was afraid I was gonna have to wear my winter coat. And this pretty springtime outfit would be covered up all day, but oh my gosh, it could not have cooperated much better. Bikes, we kind of wanted to ride bikes, but not today. So this is basically like the Smithsonian Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, right? Wow, kale. Oh my gosh. Look at the line to get in. That is crazy and it stretches way back.
That looks kind of scary, what actually. It essentially, is just a bunch of inward-facing spikes. And um, wow. they, they, they use them, they would swim along the ocean floor. He in should fact, be in a Disney movie. Disney describing would it, do right? great they, things. They would swim there. along the ocean floor and they would probe with these feelers and when they felt a trilobite, they would grab it and they would pull it up to that giant knife mouth and they would just cut into it. Wow. Right. So, um, so yeah, we Eat have a fossil now. mouth that literally oh. just looks like a serpent and is this, with tons this of knives. And this is the to scale. Wow, so these things were huge. Oh yeah, this is the Look at that. Are you, that's how big it was. The sea scorpion. It would stand crazy. next to you and be slightly tall. Oh, there's a donkey. Uh. Yes, they're really cool. Um, they actually, they, they evolved before teeth evolved. And obviously looking at them, it looks like they have teeth. But those aren't, those aren't teeth. What are they? Teeth. They're literally just protrusions of the skull. Were like the like skull the is just teeth, shaped though? like a jag. Oh. No, because it's not technically a tooth, because the tooth is right. a separate thing. That's literally just a jagged skull. A jagged yeah, skull. And then just slammed them shut. That's, oh, is that? That's probably why it's still attached. He hasn't lost any of his teeth because they never were teeth. There's one of these. There's one of these at the oh, Royal Palm Club, teeth, guys. Teeth marks? Is that why it's here? I thought maybe you were that, hoping like, there's for, oh, there's the Mosasaur. And there are ones that they've found that have. Actually, it does have Mosasaur teeth, Mark. Look at that. That's a Mosasaur tooth that it just jagged in there trying to break it open. Shape. In fact, look, you Is can, this you a can Mosasaur tooth? Oh. You can even see like the sort of angle that it went in like that. And now you can look right there and you can see that's the exact same tooth shape. And so they're like. Those are teeth, though. Whereas before they were not eating teeth. A, yeah, these are true teeth now. We've moved uh, fairly ahead. In We've evolved into teeth. This is a very, very large. What is this? We'll have to ask Athos. He'd know. Look at those teeth, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at those layers. So oh, what happened? This thing is really interesting yeah. here. This tri uh, tribrachidium. Um, it is the on? only very tiny. organism ever known to have threefold symmetry. And, oh, really? um, yeah. So it's like some mystic symbol. Yeah, it looks like some Celtic symbol. Yeah, because it's actually. symmetric in three ways. But it's organic. It, oh yeah, it was, it was alive. And wow. today everything is essentially two planes of symmetry. You're right. So this is the only known thing to ever have three ever. planes of symmetry. Wow. Now the entire group that it belonged to that had three-fold symmetry is extinct. So we have no organisms anything like that today. Okay, Athos, did you see the cute little trilobites over here? Though? So this is like the trilobites' footprints. Yes, the moving trace. Exactly. There so he goes. The, um, do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. Look at, doesn't that look like a Pokemon or something? It looks like he's like looking at you. He looks yeah. like he's got a personality and that one, are these Oh, this is fossils? a mix of things. What it's not just they? trilobites. They are fossils. They're like, okay. oh yeah, the spines like, are- That's amazing. How on earth yeah, did they get those spines out? You need someone picking at yeah, it slowly. Really and then you get this them. is like the pretty, pretty uh, exhibit. <laughs> these are all of the detailed ones. Wow, I guess maybe look they would at be so dense 12. Oh, beautiful. this guy is interesting. We looked at one of him just the other day. They Look at are, how it's like a net. It's so fine. Yes, yeah, it's like a mesh. The, the I can't. I can't go for that pronunciation. Come on, you can go for it. Ready? Let's try. Receptacalulites. Recep Receptacalulites. Hey, there no, you go. got it. Receptacalulites. Uh, Oeni. <laughs> stole it. But um, it has um, its pores. It, it's a type of pore. Yeah. And its pores um, that the polyps live in um, follow the Fibonacci sequence. <gasps> Are you so, serious? I am serious. You guys, look at yeah. those tiny, right. tiny legs attached to this fairly large dinosaur. His head's all the way up there. And then we come into more modern animals. This is the sea room. That's a large whale. He totally does look like a dog. He's doggy paddling. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's he about to eat? Um, I don't know. Anything? All right, little crab, I think. Oh, he's poor little crab. Us. Wow, he's kind of terrifying looking. Oh, there's another crab. Wouldn't dare mess with that guy. That's a big crab. <laughs> he just looks lost, doesn't <laughs> he? I, doing I, I don't know how it got here. Oh, oh my gosh, okay, for one split second, I thought that was a person. <laughs> how did he get up there? What? what? A giant is a giant squid. Can you classify it? So is that, is it in there? Is it real? <laughs> is it real? Wait. Oh, okay then. Wow. That, is that dead? 
it, it's dead, right? <laughs> Please, <laughs> someone tell me. Kind of gross. Tell me it's dead. Confirm for me. Little anglerfish uh -huh. right there. Isn't that cool? Wait, he's like the one from Finding Nemo, yeah, right? Exactly. He's got the little light on his head. Just table. keep swimming. They're extinct, but they used to yeah. be a pretty big deal. <laughs> yes, they um. The, each one of those little plates is called a coccolith. They um. They uh, photosynthesized, and they were, were like everywhere in the ocean. Chalk is mostly made of. Cause when they die, the plates, the coccoliths, fall apart, and chalk is pretty much entirely made of coccoliths. So. Um, so, so yeah. all of the chalk in the world right now. Is all thank the chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> thank the Phoenician chocolate. Exactly. Hall of Mammals. Here we go. There's a tiger. About to eat us. It's tons of humans. <laughs> also humans. Them too. <laughs> I guess we're mammals as well. Yeah. We're part of the exhibit. It's just like the uh, the, the Jungle Cruise. He's he's sleeping. Uh, Ah, they're playing. This is totally Lion King, kneeling giraffe to Simba and Jungle Cruise hippo. Wait, is this the Ghost of the Forest? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Maybe. The Okapi. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look, scientists didn't even know it existed. I think he is. Oh my gosh, this is like the Disney World exhibit. The monkeys aren't though. They aren't. No. <laughs> Well, you're right, there aren't any like that, but there are those monkeys, you know, by Everest that are like hanging out in that temple. They're hippos. Ah, They're eating water look at that. Yeah. Remember that time we went yeah. on the Wild Africa track and we saw cool. Henry and what was his name? I Hubert? Think. It started with an H. Which one threatened us as we walk over the bridge? Oh, that was There's one like, walk over quick Hamlet. because it gets angry. It wasn't Hamlet? No, it was Horatio. Horatio. Yeah. There it was. There's the frozen exhibit over there. You can meet Sven. The talking reindeer. Of course, Sven doesn't really talk, but since Kristoff makes him talk, you could make this one talk too. Cylinder seals. Oh, look at that. So when you rolled that, it would come out with that. That's incredible. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Uh, can't zoom in. It's too small. Now, we come to the test track part of the museum. Map. Here's the Moana. That's the Moana map. <gasps> That's a map. Oh my gosh. How did you know that? Stick chart. Yeah, the people of the Marshall Islands. That's crazy. Canada Pavilion. I was going to say it's the Wilderness Lodge, but we could really go either Both. way. We are headed upstairs to see, I want to see the butterflies. Again, that, there's the flower and garden portion. Of there you the go. Thing. And it's also, all dinosaurs. Look, Exciting. there's the, uh, the three brothers at the top. I'm sure they mean something. You're right, I'm sure they do. They're kind of uh, Creepy. intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the museum I've have over 35 million yeah, insects? Wow. The, the, the oh, Athos comes out of the restroom area and says, they have an exhibit there on the college. <laughs> oh, I mean, you can go see it. But it's, it's just kind of funny that it's labeled restrooms and there's oh, an yeah, exhibit back yeah, it's kick, the Oh, yeah, it's kicking around back <laughs> Probably because no one cares about Look, it's a fossil. A new dinosaur from Hell Creek. Doesn't this look like the title and the cover of some sort of dramatic Western book or maybe some movie, horror movie? You guys, you have to pay to see the butterflies. I think. to get in. I think it's mostly the um, security. That's a beautiful. Where is that? Pompeii? I mean, the volcano made me think that. Oh, that's beautiful too, the ballerinas. Alright, this is museum number two. I think we're only going to have a short time. Wow, no line for this one. 
the other one, the security was what made the line long. But um, we're just gonna do a quick exhibit and then I think we're gonna go to another museum. The house. Oh, you guys, look at the flowers. Oh, that's beautiful. And I think they're real. It's a collection of azaleas on display. Ames Haskell Azalea Collection, donated to the National Museum of Art. Wow, that is amazing. I matched the art gallery. Wow, there's another entrance and floor down there. I think we're gonna have a quick look in here. Look at the light on the water and the clouds. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. After the Rain by Theodore Rousseau. It's so cool to see them in person and to be able to look at the brush strokes. Oh my gosh, look at that. Reading a letter by Pascal Adolphe Jean Danan Bouvet. Fantastic fashion alert. Look at those hoop skirts. That's fantastic. The Beach at Villeville. Eugene Houdin. From Vaquero near Christiana, as my brother just pointed out, it feels a little awkward because we're interrupting their moment. <laughs> but they don't know we're here. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, yeah, gosh, that is that the moon or the sun? It must be the sun, right? The light from that is just so beautifully done. You guys, it's the Renoir. This has always been one of my absolute favorites. Throw at the hip. We came to DC and visited this museum when I was about that girl's age, and I totally thought we were twins. She's a little like Samantha. Samantha Parkinson. Woman with a parasol, Madame Monet. I never noticed before how you can see her face under a veil. I love the, the way she's looking over her shoulder. That's so beautiful. I feel like you see this figure, you know, a lot, but you usually don't see it up close, like with her face. There's a little boy. Oh, Degas, the ballerinas. Look at their skirts. These colors are just so amazing. Well, that was a quick jaunt. Now we're going to, I think, meet the rest of our family at the um, Museum of Native Americans. So that, I think, is the new Museum of African American History, which there are just too many museums. You know, we have like one afternoon. How can you get to all of them? They're just all along the mall. This museum just looks so cool. This thing was an amazing shape on the outside, and the shape on the inside is even cooler. We can look out over the atrium. Incan this Road. Is so beautiful. We saw all the treasures of the Incans. Incan Road. The uh, Incans apparently they would look for areas where there weren't stars, and then they would look at the shape that those areas That's made. That's amazing. And, that and look at this word over here. To be Anishinaab is to understand your place in creation. Each direction is associated with a color. They had so much silver that they would just make toys out of it. Oh, that's cute. The shape of this museum is so 
interesting and like each of these little um, each of these tribes has its own um, exhibit here we're coming into another one um, I won't attempt to pronounce that name because I know I wouldn't do it well but um, like they're all shaped differently and like the museum itself like this whole exhibit the way it curves around the center it's just so cool and different and of course the starry sky is just beautiful I wish I knew how to pronounce that word but I don't but this sounds so cool a messenger feast when the when it would get cold after a freeze up one great thing about this exhibit it's really dark so I don't know if you can see but they have these cool benches with um, videos and that's one thing that museums don't have enough of